You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong. Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic insult. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Doesn't pay much, but... Rather live on the street than ask my parents for help. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? <sighs> I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. 
Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Dangerous. Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. All units, 1010 narcotic sale reported. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. This tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. Uh, he's right. How did I lose track of time? Uh.
Narcotic sale reported in progress. Officers needed at Tribeca. Please copy. Drug deals and criminals. They go together like cookies and milk. Gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of Big Pharma. Especially back alley Big Pharma. Muggers never take a day off. Oh, it's on. Always nice to stop a mugging. Gotta stay strong in the fundamentals. Thank you. Nice to know someone's still looking out for us.
my Wilson Fisk Science Prize trophy. And check. I couldn't turn it down without arousing suspicion, but no way was I going to take his money. Even though we could have used it. I did accept the lifetime supply of backpacks, though. All I'm saying is, this needs money for me. All units, report of an assault. Officers near Nolita, please report. I can't let him hurt that victim anymore. Try and guess how I feel about bullets. Drug deal reported. Need an officer to check it out. Additional officers requested near Flatiron. Going near Union Square. Please copy. <laughs> Funny. My fear of heights didn't go away when I got my powers. Had to climb to the top of the Empire State to get over that. down there. Bad one. People could be injured. Someone's trapped in that car. Don't panic. I'm here. Thank you. 
Guys tried to rob a store. My driver must have been hopped up. Caused the whole wreck. Whoever caused this wreck is nearby. Need to find and stop them. Thanks. Too slow. Tim! Sorry, spider emergency! How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. You should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something.
Attention units, drug deal reported. Need an officer to check it out. Backup needed in the meatpacking district. Over.